Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is well today on this beautiful Saturday. And I am coming here from Flint, Michigan, and my name is Stacy Kimbrell. And I'm excited to share. This is my first time sharing with um, the 12 Days of Diamond, and I hope to be able to share every year to come this point moving forward. So let me get started because I know we don't have much time. And there's so many tidbits of information from all of these leaders. So I'm really hoping that from uh, this whole past experience, the last 12 days, that you can go back and listen to each person to find all the nuggets that you need to help you be successful for yourself and for your team and your family. I'm so thankful for Young Living. I just can't even tell you. I would have never, ever, ever probably learned about self-development the way I have from just being a part of Young Living and learning about the five love languages and the color personalities and how we can use that just not in our business, but with our family and our spouses and our children. And if you have children, you already know that each child cannot be raised the same. And if if you have new children, then you have all this information to move forward with. But if you have older children, like I do at this point, they're 21 and 25, you know, if I could have had this information when they were younger, I probably would have made it a little bit easier for them and me. So moving forward, today I'm going to be talking about getting back to the heart of young living. And you may already know what that means and you may not know what that means, but I'm going to give you my perspective of it and the heart of making a difference. That is what Young Living is all about, is making a difference in people's lives. And I am just so thankful that I learned about this 13 years ago, a little over 13 years ago. And the lady who introduced me to it, uh, her name is Barb Morris. Um, if my son didn't get hurt, she wasn't even going to tell me about it. So I don't know if I would have just be learning about it right now or if I would have learned about it at all. Um, because I grew up and worked in medical land and so and was a huge supporter of the FDA. And I just did not believe in anything natural at all. I was very adamant against it. And actually, I didn't even sign up our account. My husband did because he's the one who wanted me to drink the Ninja Red. And I was resistant for each, even drinking it. Um, he would bring it to me. He'd make me drink it. Otherwise, he wouldn't leave my space. And I'm so thankful that he did that because otherwise uh, I would not be standing in this place today with um, because of all the lifestyle changes that we've made, of course, uh, through this time. But without having to have a bladder transplant and being prescription and over-the-counter medication free for the last 13 plus years with all the lifestyle changes that we have made. And so that's for a family of four and my kids are down with the oils and still are. And my eldest lives in California and he still orders his own products with his own money. And um, he's 25 and uh, he's like, mom, you know, I, I place his order, but he tells me what he wants and he pays for it. And he's like, I need more helichrysum. I'm like, what do you even do with this stuff? But anyhow, he just was like, it's his favorite oil. But anyhow, moving forward, back to the heart of young living. Young Living, Gary's goal was what? Getting oils in every home in the world about wellness, purpose, and abundance. And I gained wellness. Our family gained wellness. I've always loved helping people, but it gave me a whole new purpose in life of how to and why I want to help people with what Young Living has to offer. And of course, I've received the abundance part of it as well. I just hit Diamond for the first time um, I think it was in February. I probably should know that, but I think it was in February and I've hit it five months. Um, I'm trying to work on hitting it all the time, but I'm happy for that uh, achievement after all of these uh, years. Um, but I will tell you that even if I was, even if something happened to Young Living and we only could order as um, as members, as customers and not be able to do the business anymore, I would still order Young Living. I would still have another job and order Young Living because of what it's done for me. I love the products and I would never change up using for what I use in Young Living. So I'm still a huge supporter of Young Living. All the ups and downs throughout the years and I've seen many different things and those of you who've been around that long have as well. And we're still here. There is no way that I would ever waver or jump ship. There's nothing that anyone could give me or do for me to have me jump ship from Young Living. So part of what I'm trying to talk about today is educating our people for how Young Living, why, 
and how having them have the same heart that I have, perhaps that you have, so they can understand the difference why Young Living is so different than any other health company out there, and thus they would stick with it and will have residual long-term customers and perhaps um, people like ourselves who are into sharing Young Living. So being blessed that we have this opportunity, feeling grateful that we have these products that we can even use, have the understanding of being um, aware of what's going on and being patient through all these different times, learning about how to help yourself first and self-care. Uh, this is not something I should even be really talking about in the sense because I'm not the best at doing this because I get up and I start working. That's sort of my personality. There's always so many things that need to be done. I am learning still at this game how to do self-care um, and spend that quality time uh, taking care of myself before I go forth and help others. So I'm sure there's a lot of great calls on this that I'm going to learn from as well. And then, you know, learning how to be able to get a check from Young Living so that you can help support yourself and then start to bless other people with whatever it is in life that you want to help bless them with. And then, of course, that comes with uh, obtaining new ranks as well. So that's exciting. My goal is to get people back to health. And this is going to sound a little crazy, but back in the day when you first signed up with me, I had you on a three-month health plan. Uh, this is back in the day, okay, before conduct and all those kind of stuff and FTC. We had it on a three-month uh, health plan to get started. I had people doing cleansing, fasting, using the oils rectal. It, it was like hardcore, like I know what can happen within a month, let alone three months. And if someone really wants to have changes physically, mentally, spiritually, that can be done like a whole overhaul within a couple months. Like it really can for most things, right? And so I used to be really hardcore. And like if you weren't going to fast and cleanse and use the oils rectal, like I didn't even want to work with you because I was just into like full force healing um, and helping people understand how to become their own health advocate and um helping them see what I know can happen and what happened with me, right? So it was sort of funny. Obviously, I had to roll back that a little bit because people are like, I don't want to fast. I don't want to use the oils rectal. I just met you, right? So helping people understand about true healing for emotional, digestive, spiritual, what can happen. You know, back in the day, only thing we knew about chia seeds is that you could have a chia pet. You know, we, I didn't even know you could eat those things, you know? And 13 years ago, when I started this, and I know there's some people older than that, it was very difficult. Like today, it's like easy to get people on oils. So you just got to tell them which company because obviously there's so many companies now. But it was hard. My family, my friends, my church, they all dumped me like a hot potato. And I knew this was the truth. I know I heard the Lord tell me to keep doing this. And so I did what I was supposed to do. Um, and I kept forth, and there's a few people who were uh, in that the Lord put in my path to really help me not to be afraid to share um, and to not worry about what anyone else says or thinks or does or whatever, and treat everyone with love, respect. You can say, I believe whatever you want to say with love, with the right intent. Um, and I always tell people, well, you know, if it's not for you right now, then let me know later on if it is. And not to take things as a uh, personal offense of someone rejects you. They're not really rejecting you. They're rejecting what they don't know or the oils or away from mainstream. I definitely don't consider this alternative medicine because this was the original medicine dating back to 3500 BC, right? So this is not new. This is old school. What we have today is new. So I try to help enlighten them on that. Um, but there's just so many things. So my whole goal and what I think that we need to focus on that we have not really been able to focus on as much, and especially now that everything is online, you can't even get in front of somebody hardly. Um, and, you know, a few years ago when the FTC and the FDA stepped in and we couldn't say all the things that we've been normally used to being able to say, boy, that really hit me hard because, that's how I knew how to teach. That's what I've been doing all this time. Um, and so we have to get back to sustainable membership, in my opinion, and that is on teaching and health education to help people become their own health advocate, to help them understand 
what they can do and what their power is and what they can ask the doctor to monitor their health and they don't have to do everything that TV commercials say or their doctor says, of course, for some reason. Um, but in the, we have the best emergency medical system, but preventative health is something that we need to personally take a look at with what we eat and drink and uh, watch and let come into our mind and um, all the different avenues, right? So when we're talking about sustainable membership and people really having a, a difference where they want to stay with Young Living, do they really know what an essential oil is? Has that really been explained to them so that if someone, if their son, their grandpa, their mom, their sister, their brother, a coworker, ask them, do they know how to explain that? Do they know where the oils are made from? Do they know how to use them? Do they know how to order them? Really important, right? Um, most important is, do they know why Young Living? That is the most important of all. I think there's like 42 oil companies now. There's probably more than that. But there's so many different oil companies right now. Some are a lot cheaper. Some you can buy convenient over here. I love when people come over and we do a, a smell and taste test. I just put little labels over theirs and mine, the same thing. I have them smell them and then I have them taste them. They're like, oh, I don't want to taste them. I'm like, too bad. You brought them over. You really want to know the difference. You can either taste earth and lavender, for example, or you're going to taste a perfume or an alcohol. And your nose may not be able to detect it yet because you've been breathing in this terrible stuff. At the same time, helping them to understand by even smelling or tasting so they can know the difference for themselves. Knowing why Young Living, do they know about seed and seal? Do they understand the depths of seed and seal? Seed to seal, excuse me. And you know that we have 10 corporate farms, 15 part partner farms, and how all really works together. And um, I have a couple of great handouts I'm gonna post along with this. And as always, if there's anything I ever put out and you see that there's uh, corrections that need made, just let me know and I'll make them and I'll send you a new copy because don't know everything. C to seal, uh, quality commitment, young living, unwavering integrity sets the standards for purity and ensures that you get Oh, we can't say therapeutic anymore. I got to change this. Uh, pure essential oils. I'm trying to think of the right name now. Pure essential oil. No, premium essential oils that are exactly the way that nature intended. Do they understand about seed, the cultivation, the distilling, the testing, and that our oils are tested 45 to 65 times? You know, like that's really important stuff that when you when someone else comes to them with some, how many times are your oils tested? we have this graph i'm like well ours are tested 45 to 65 times go find out how many times yours are tested then come back to me like this is valuable information that people can um be empowered to know this information um and not be like i don't know you know like i guess i'll go find out and then try to find out and you know whatever right back in the day when i signed up young living starter kit was 150 dollars and there was no diffuser and you got 10 oils. Now you get 12 oils and a diffuser and it's $165. I think that was like six years ago, they changed it to like 165, but that's still a long time ago as well. Like, you know, the value of what we're getting is totally amazing. And making sure that you understand that with all the different kits and all the savings that we have that is uh, available in all of that, like we have to know this so we can portray that on and teach that on. And so they know it so they can share that information as well. Um, people may not know this if they weren't here back then, but I remember when our helichrysum was out of stock. Now, most of us know what helichrysum does. And if you don't, you got to go research it because I can't tell you. Right. And so um, helichrysum is just one of those oils. I always have my purse because you never know when something is going to happen to somebody. Right. And it just does so much stuff. And it's a small, it's a five mil bottle if you're new and you don't know about that yet. And it's like $80 or something like that. Um, but it's like one that you definitely have to get and just keep on hand, right? So when our helichrysum was out of stock, I remember this and I'm thinking like, can't Gary just sell it for half off and we'll take our chances in our own crop. So that means we planted it, we watered it, we harvested it. We tested it and it was not at the time therapeutic grade per Gary Young standards for the constituents in there that needed to be there for what his 
his laws and regulations are, right? Which is really important to understand. That's why we have our seed to seal. Okay, that's the difference between us and other people. And he chose to not use it and sell it and sold it on the market someplace else for people who don't care about the value or about the therapeutic value, right? And so I'm like, oh my gosh, that means we don't have helichrysum for like a couple of years. I mean, how frustrating. You have to understand this is another biggest point about young living is we could source helichrysum from anywhere. We could have used our own helichrysum that was not to his standards, but he chose not to, right? So young living is not just about making money in the bottom dollar. And if you know anything about people who did jump ship and DT, that's the whole reason why. Obviously, their integrity was not straight. They thought they could do better. Um, uh, their values are definitely compromised. Um, and they stole tra you know, trade secrets to, they think they could do it better. I know for a fact, because I remember when Gary was teaching us one time when we were in Ecuador, he was telling us some stories about things. And... Um, about some of the stuff that went on. And like, I know one of the other big issues is that when uh, our beauty care products were out for like nine months or more, I don't remember exactly how long, but it was a long time. And of course, people who are used to their normal skin regimen are like, when is this gonna come back in? You know, we're missing the main ingredient that goes on all these products so we don't have the beauty care. And people are now having to find other things, jumping ship, this, that, whatever. It's like, if you understand the beauty of it, young living is not going to compromise. If they say that this can help with uh, brightening your skin or um, getting rid of wrinkles or helping with the bags underneath your eyes, whatever it is, right? Then if they're using a product that's less than or skipping or cutting corners and not being of the seed to seal quality, then you're not gonna get these results and you're not gonna be using them anyhow, right? Same thing when peace and calming was out of stock, dear goodness. If, and I just got mine from last month, my 300 PV, so that was exciting. Um, you know, like I had to know you really well to give you a drop because I'm like, we're out for a couple of years. I'm like, that is like my all time, I have to have this oil in my life. Like, you know, I have a, a stash and a lock box, right? And like, this is like emergency break only, right? Because this is the stuff that I can put on and it just brings me to a level of where I should be whether, and I don't really struggle with being anxious and all these different things and worry, but um, it just calms me down. I love the way it smells. Even if I get chest pain from my son not doing his homework back in the day, I can put that on and three minutes is gone. So like peace and calming is like literally my favorite oil. Um, but we didn't have it for a couple of years. Young Living could just go source the stuff anywhere, but they choose not to because of the quality. So I, I'm probably talking too long on this, but I want it to be really steadfast in your mind that we have to teach people the fundamentals about health and why Young Living. If they know why they're using it, what to use, how to use it, and how to order it, in my opinion, they will stick with it. As a customer, just using it for their products. I've had members, I'm sure you have as well, that, that have been here since day one, um, that are just even product users. Like I have one person who still hasn't even shared anything with anybody because he swears this is what gives him up on his golf game and why he always wins. So he refuses to tell anyone about Ninja Red, but this dude has been ordering for me from 11 years straight. He's like, I want eight packs and uh, eight bottles of Ninja Red. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just incredible. But he has never told one person about it, okay? So you're gonna have those kinds of folks, but this is sustainable, long-term. Uh, he knows this does something for him. He's gonna order it. Now, obviously we should love it. Uh, we should learn about it. We should share it and not be selfish with these things. And that's what we wanna help people do is this is not about selling young living. This is about sharing your experiences and what something's done for you. If this helps you sleep better, if this helps you relax and feel better, I just love the, the smell of wintergreen. I love the taste of it too, but the smell of it just excites me just in general. So if I ever need a little pick me up, I just put some wintergreen on. Now in the definition of wintergreen, I'm not sure if that says it's a pick me upper, you know, but it is for me. So whatever it does for me may not do the same thing for you, but people have the experience that they can do. 
helping people make sure of how to get reference material so they can learn about these things and become their own health advocate is a must. This isn't, you know, there's of course on a phone, you can get the apps, which I do have and I like for, but to me, obviously everything can't be in the app. So actually having a physical book and what I always ask people to do is read about one single, one blend, one supplement, and on the back section with all the other things for what you can do and read one of those a day minimum, take your 15 minutes, right? And you will learn so much. And then the most important thing to ever do is to actually read from the beginning of the book till it gets to even to that section because there's so much meat in there that, you know, I didn't read that for the first couple of years and I got mortified by Gary one time, another story, because he said, oh, did you know this is in my in the desk reference that I wrote? And, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. So anyhow, I knew about it, but I didn't know where I even learned about it. It came from that book, but someone just told me about it. So reading this beginning of the information because there's so much great information there. Um, so teaching people that, teaching people how to go to PubMed and research or when Young Living's website says uh, high in eugenol or delaminine, for people to go look up those names to research for themselves to know what that means since publicly, obviously live, we cannot share what that kind of information um, is suggesting that things can do for you. Helping people know, and I'm praying on the new website that this is there, but being able to do a search where, you know, someone can type in probiotics and they know that is life nine. But right now, no one knows that. And so I, I can't stand hearing people say, oh, I go to the store and get a probiotic or I get the probiotic from my naturopath or I do this or that. It's like, how do our people not know that Life Nines are not a probiotic? So really giving information for what we're allowed to share in public and obviously in person, you can say whatever you want to say and helping people know what our products are, what they do, how to use them, when to use them and how to order them so we can have sustainable me membership. Um, some of my favorite things, and I will post a couple links on here with this, um, is, you know, the facts about Young Living. You know, it's almost this next year will be 27 years strong with Young Living. Uh, world leaders in essential oils, like we have to understand and know that. We do have the largest amount of essential oils that are available uh, with singles, blends, and even the Vitality or um, <clears throat> what's the other one called? Vitality for U.S., Pure for, um, not Pure. Um, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name of it. For Canada and other places, it's called something. I'm sorry, I forgot what it's called. Um, obviously, we have far over 600 products. Young Living's Foundation, teaching people about the foundation, um, the Gary Young Foundation. In 2019, it raised over $5.4 million, servicing over 480,000 lives. Like, how exciting is that? I cannot wait till things open back up and I get to go to Uganda and help people with jiggers and whatever else we can do out there. Like that is my passion. I want to go so bad. Um, I've been blessed to be in Ecuador a number of times and to be at their clinic for uh, a month and another time for a month. Um, and being there with the doctors at the time and even Gary was uh, there for uh, actually both of the times. Um, I mean, how amazing to be able to learn from Gary and you know, the experience of, you know, helping people emotionally um, is so important. And I have a stop stressing section in my book, and I can just send you that section if you don't have my book. But it's like, um, I learned two things from our Salavon Harding and from Gary Young. And I got to try to say this real quick. You know, when someone would come to the clinic with Gary, he would give them all these uh, school notebooks, you know, like, um, you know, big old spiral bound notebooks, right? And he'd have them write down everything they hate, dislike, can't stand, disappointed, frustrated, and life in until they were done. Like thinking he gave them, I think it was like five, 10 notebooks. Right. And it's like, once you get going, you can just keep going, obviously. Right. But these things don't serve us. So, you know, I believe in uh, Jesus. So I believe in giving our problems and worries and cares to him. Um, and and moving forward and then going on to uh, gratitude journals and, and 
and writing down everything you're thankful and grateful for in that day, right? That was something I learned about from Gary, from even being in the clinic with him and how he used to do things, right? Which is the emotional side, because how much of that is tied to our physical health problems, which we all should know that by now, right? And then the other thing I learned from Marcella, uh, bless her heart, is I don't, I think this day she hit me like on my hand like 20 times or probably 30 or more. But every time I was, uh, had an excuse for something, um, she would smack me and I was saying, well, this person did this, you know, and she'd smack and, 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 you know, oh, it was this long story. I'm like, don't hit me again. You know, she's like, well, obviously you're not getting it. I'm like, well, obviously I'm not getting it. So lay it on me. Like, what, did, what are you trying to say here? And the whole thing is that how I am allowing someone else to affect me. And now it changes my thoughts, my perception, uh, my ability to move forward. And there is nothing that anyone should have been able to do to you in life that prevents you from moving forward. And yes, there's some traumatic things that uh, some of us have all gone, gone through. And, but we all need to get to a point where we can say and talk about these things and not cry or have stress or anxiety or heart palpitations or for, feel less than. And the goal is to be able to get all this stuff off your body, off your heart, off your, your cells, your RNA, the memory of your cells. And so that they're not weighing you down and, and making it not be all that you can be. So it's really exciting. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of rambling now, but that's, I'm really good at rambling, speaking in short uh, bullet point fragmented sentences, if you haven't figured that out already. All right. But hopefully there's great content in here that you can use and apply in your life. So anyhow, uh, making sure people know about Young Living's foundation, of course, um, Let's see what else I want to say. The growth of Young Living is just amazing. Uh, how many different countries we're in, how many new members we have a month. Um, what was it? We just did over $2 billion in sales. I just learned today on the Diamond Call. So that's amazing and how exciting. Uh, the revenue is 800% since, uh, grown 800% since 2015. Um, and 34 percent rate growth. I'm saying this wrong. Sorry. Uh, since 2018, that's amazing. We have over 7,000, I believe, global members. That is amazing, and we are still a one-owner company with a stability for over 26 years. Young Living is not going anywhere. You know that is like really exciting. Okay, now. The other folks you'll find on here, obviously you're gonna find some fantastic business tips. I never took a business class. I never went to college. Uh, anyone can literally do this job and be successful. I, I believe that 100%. I'm like top 10 dyslexic. Uh, I can't spell. I don't know what a syntax is. I don't know where my syllables are. None of that stuff. You don't need that to do oils just so you know, right? So that's exciting. Anyone can do anything that they put their mind to. I 100% believe that. Uh, and you are no different than anyone else. So doesn't matter where you're coming from, what your background is, what your history, what, history, what your educational knowledge is. Um, it matters on your sharing ability and being comfortable and knowing, even if you don't know everything, because you don't have to know everything. Gary Young didn't know everything knowing that something can help somebody and having uh, the courage to share that will get you many places. Back in the day, do you know back in the day, the average was five years to become a silver before the influx, I don't know if it was like seven years ago or whatever, when all the people who knew about um, the internet and uh, learned about strategic placement, Literally, we used to put everyone in our front line. This is going to sound so crazy and make some people cringe. You're probably going to need your peace and calming for this one if you're old school uh, or, or like the last six years and hear this. We used to put everyone in our front line and wait till someone wanted to do the business. Had no idea about strategic placement. Like no clue, right? Um, I never been to a business class, didn't understand all this. Just do what you're taught and just keep on doing it and hoping for the best, right? So I'm thankful for that education that we've got. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is sort of, I'm a red personality and I'm green and I'm really yellow. I only got a little bit of blue sort of. So 
you know, I don't know if this is just all straight uh, red personality and just my way, but this is what I think. So everything I say, believe me, is in love with the right intent. And hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say by this. But I am a diehard young living person because of what it has done for me and my family and the passion and the love and the loyalty and the commitment, um, uh, the desire, young living's goals, their heart. Uh, I will never quit or waver young with young living, no matter what, like unless some crazy stuff happened and I just saw them pour antifreeze in my bottle, right? But obviously that would never happen. And so um, I'm diehard young living. So it really hurts my heart when people are like, well, the shipping is bad. And so I'm leaving and I'm going to go find a different oil company or you know, I feel like I have not done my job to help them understand young living. Yeah, like there's times when there's things that are astray, but this is where we come back to having patience and understanding. And, you know, young living um, is more of a, a mom and pop and how they started and did things. And they're, go they're growing as they're growing. And maybe they didn't have the foresight of seeing all the growth and there's been a lot of ups and downs with that, but we're still here and we're still strong. But number one, we have the best purity. So yeah, wait longer for your order, right? Like it frustrates me when people say those kinds of things. I should not have to pump you up every day to get you to want, this is for business builders, okay? Not for product, necessarily for product users, but even if such, but let's say for business builders, you know, my job, should not be to have to pump you up every day to get you to want to do about Young Living as a business. I feel if that's the case, then you don't understand the basis of Young Living, how and why, and the importance of Young Living and the seed to seal commitment. Um, if you know, you really have to be a self-motivated person in this. It, you know, you really do. Not that we can't encourage each other and all that kind of stuff, but so much of the teachings are trying to boost people up. And... I'm like, dang, like how often you got to do that? It's like sort of frustrating to me. If you know you have a self-motivation issue, then please seek out those types of uh, audios and materials and reading things that you can listen to every day to help boost yourself up. You boost yourself up. If you're always looking for someone else to boost you up, you're going to have a problem because you're never, you're going to always look to someone else. And if they're not there, then you're going to feel less than and you can't do it and quit and all this kind of stuff, right? So you really got to find the determination in yourself for what you want. Being a rank of whatever rank has never really been important to me in the sense like my goal is not to just be a diamond or crown diamond or royal crown diamond. Like, like I don't care about titles. Um, it's nice. I'm thankful for it after all these years, but that's not what motivates me personally. What motivates me is seeing people's lives change through Young Living's wellness, a new purpose, and abundance. So people have got to learn the basics. Um, and let me see, I was writing something here on my little note. Um, you know, you have to ask yourself, if you're, if you're in this for a business, are you in this? Uh, do you really want to be here? It's the first question. Are you here just because you're trying to make money? Do you like the products? Do you think they're okay? Do you understand them? Um, are you frustrated because you have resistance? Because you're always going to have resistance, just so you know. Um, people have to hear things three, seven times, sometimes before they even really want to even hear more about it. But ask yourself, do you really want to be here doing Young Living as a business? If you do, fantastic. Do you think you're here for the long run or if there's some speed bumps or is it going to discourage you when all this stuff that comes through with um, the business inquire and Forbes, I think it was, and about cinnamon, about cats, you know, all this is BS stuff that tries to put a wrench in our day and our downlines um, in our members learning about this stuff. And they're going to hear about it eventually. Right. So I believe personally on doing head-on prevention, um, but, um, you know, if that knocks the wind out of your sails when you hear that, then you don't know Young Living. And so this goes back to understanding the heart of Young Living, how and why. 
Um, and then those things won't knock you down. Like whenever I hear them, like, oh my gosh, now I have to do this today, right? And let's go uh, help everyone understand what the truth is and get this done with so it's not this like long drawn out three week process. But it does not make me waver at all because I already know what the truth is. I have been consuming oils for 13 years. I've literally had them in my bladder through a catheter. I wouldn't suggest that one. But anyhow, I've done that. I've had that three times. And um, I've had them uh, through the clinic in Ecuador, which, you know, we do those a certain way, right? I'm not sure if I can say that here. And I've taken them internally. I've taken them uh, externally through inhalation. You never use them in the ears. You can go like this and this, but you never use them on the ear. I have used some in the eyes. And um, I rectal and vaginal, right? Like a nasal, you can snort oils, right? Be ready, but you can't. So I've used them every single way possible, except for in my ear. I'm still here. My family is still here. Um, I don't believe you can overdose on them. And they are what has sustained me along with drinking water and walking around my block and eating nutritious foods. If you don't know me already, like I am huge about chemical awareness. So that's my huge passion. But right now we're really talking about Young Living. So that's why I'm going there. Um, so I've used them every single way possible. Do you, do you know you can use them in different ways? Do you know the benefits? Um, I forgot why I was even saying that, but this is why I'm die hard with Young Living. I know how you can use them, how, when, why, what, where, and how to get them. And I will use them for always. Okay, let me see if I got anything else. Um, you know, Young Living, once again, has over 600 products. So if you're really into the beauty, but you don't care about other things, realize beauty comes from the inside out. If you don't have enough good fats, enough water, uh, enough vitamins and minerals, proteins, amino acids, you know, all of that, then yeah, you're gonna have skin issues, okay? So, but you can focus your whole business on makeup if you want to with the nutrients from the internal that works with external. So, you know, you can do your business however you want to do it, knowing as well that you are your own independent distributor, which is like so exciting. You own your own business. So realize that and remember that because so many people don't have uplines that help and support them. And you'll always find another teacher or a cross line person who will be more than willing to help you just help you not even, you know, switch and all that kind of stuff, right? Just help you for where you're at and what you're doing. There's so many public groups with education that people allow people into, even if they're not in their young living personal team, what a blessing is that, right? So, you are your own independent distributor. You can do anything. You don't need an upline. So don't think that if your upline doesn't help you, if they're not in the business or whatever, then you can't do this. There's too many ways and resources for you, even if you don't have an upline. Okay. So just know that as well. That's one thing I wanted to point out. Um, Young Living is worth... Uh, yeah, Young Living is worth any inconvenience that comes uh, my way, so I am more than happy to stick with it. Uh, let's go in. Okay. Let's see. I'm sorry. I just don't want to forget anything, and I know my time is almost up. You know, um, realizing one more thing that, you know, we are Young Living's marketing and advertisement, right? So Young Living pays us to do so. So making sure that you understand that. So if you're, um, there was someone I was talking to and she's like, yeah, I'll just tell my family, you know, about, you know, the situation. She's going, I said, well, how are you feeling? She's like, I'm feeling much better. I said, great. And I, and she's like, but the way she was telling her, she was telling me she told her family. I said, well, did you tell your family like that? And she's like, yeah, they know me really well. And I said, well, I thought you said you're doing better. And she said, I was. So I'm like, well, what you're perceiving is that you're still your old self and that you don't feel better bed better mentally. So what you're projecting to people, whether it's, you know, personally in your family, uh, over the internet, not that you should lie about anything, of course, but, you know, part of these things are learned, uh, behaviors and habits that we also need to learn how to undo. Um, because if you're feeling better mentally, but you still got the sad sack attitude, 
you know, you got to change that, right? Being, you know, you really got to come from, um, you got to really come from a place from learning, which goes back to self-improvement and development, um, learning how to change your thought process. You know, some as example I always use, but it works and it is true. It, when my kids were younger, because I didn't have the insight to understand about what our words uh, mean, I say, son, don't drop that. And he'd drop it like every single time. I was like, why did you just drop that? And it's like, but I just told you not, I mean, that's what's on your mind now, not to drop it. Right. So we had to really learn about control of the mind here. And so he said, Hey, hold that tight. And what do they do? They hold it tighter. You know, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling down, write down all the things that you want to improve and say them to yourself all the time until that becomes part of you. So, cause anyone can do anything. Um, okay. I think that's it. One thing I'm going to attach to the comments here is Gary Young's passion video. And this is from when we were doing um, the events. Uh, gosh, I can't remember the name of it right now. But it was before, um, a little bit before Gary passed. And he doesn't look too good in this video. But he was teaching on passion. And I just listen to this so often, often, because the passion that this man had definitely kept him alive for many years longer than what a normal person would have been alive for. His excitement, his zeal, which is excitement for life and the passion is what I want to live. Um, and I just appreciate it so much because he says, the Bible says, anything is literally possible. Everything is possible. For you, for me, anything is obtainable. So it just depends on what you think you're capable of and what you want to set your mind and your goal for uh, to get done, you can get done. So I hope you guys all have a blessed day. There's so many more great speakers today and even coming up in the next couple of days. So please come back and listen to everyone and write down all those gold, golden nuggets and bless you. Stacey Kimbrell signing off. Thanks so much. All right, bye-bye.